going on guys it's the cmb back in the building back with another video don't forget to subscribe to the channel now i'm getting ready to go do this run it's cold out this morning but uh i need to get it done anyway and i don't feel like doing it but you know that's the time when you need to do things is when you don't feel like doing it but any, anyway i want to come on here really quickly and talk about uh, Sergey Lipinets. I know he doesn't get a lot of shine, so I figured I'd come on here and give him a little shine. Now he has uh, an upcoming fight, uh, IBF title eliminator at 147. If you're not familiar with him, uh, he's a, I think he's from Kazakhstan, and he's 16 and one. Uh, he used to be the IBF super lightweight champion and he lost that fight uh to mikey garcia so that's that's the only loss on his record is to mikey garcia and he gave M mikey garcia some problems in that fight so uh he, he i think he's the truth uh i think he's a former kickboxer as well and he didn't really start his professional boxing career until 2014 if i'm not mistaken now since he lost that fight, he moved up to 147. Uh, he's had three fights at 147. He's been successful in all three of them. Didn't look too good in the first one, but uh, the last two he fought, uh, Lamont Peterson. He stopped Lamont Peterson, and he stopped Ensign. Uh, so he looked pretty good in those fights. I was impressed, especially when he stopped Lamont Peterson. Uh, that impressed me. But... Uh, like I said, he has a IBF title eliminator coming up. It was supposed to be on the 10th of October. But uh, the guy he's fighting, uh, Abdu Kakarov, if I'm not mistaken, if that's his name, he's uh, he was having problems with his visa. So they pushed that fight to the 24th uh, since that date was open, since they moved Gervonta and Leo's fight. And uh, now it's going to be on the 24th on Showtime. And that's a fight I'm interested in. Now, Abdu Kakarov, I'm not familiar with him. I, I haven't watched him fight. I hear he's a top-ranked fighter. So if any of you guys ever seen him fight or, you, or you're familiar with him, let me know in the comment section what type of fighter he is. Uh, does he have a, a chance against uh, uh, Lipinets? Uh, i like to know that. I think I'm going to watch some of his highlights as well when I get a chance. Now... Like I said, it's an IBF uh, eliminator fight, so whoever wins this fight uh, gets a crack at whoever's going to be the IBF champion out of Errol Spence and Danny Garcia. And uh, the question is, is Lippinets a, a threat at 147? Uh, I think he can be. Uh, from what I see from Sergey uh, Lippinets, he's uh, he can crack. Uh, he's a heavy-handed fighter. He likes to come straight ahead. Uh, former kickboxer, but uh, his stance is a little different than a lot of fighters I've seen. But I, that that could be because of his uh, kickboxing background. But I, you know, I think he can be a threat. I think he has a puncher's chance with either one of those guys. You know, a lot of people uh, kind of overlook him. I think uh, he doesn't look like he's strong, but he's a strong cat. So. Yeah, I think he could be a, a threat at 147. I think he has a good shot at uh, defeating any of these fighters at 147. And like I said, he gave Mikey some problems in that fight. You know, he's still, he's only 16-1, and one, so uh, he looked like he's been improving to me. I think Joe uh, Goosen is his uh, trainer, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, man, just wanted to come on here and give him a little shine. I know he's got a fight coming up. Uh, like I said, I'm interested in that fight. And you guys let me know what you think about uh, uh, Lippinets. Uh, do you think he's a threat at 147 or not? And let me know about uh, Abdu Kakarov if you're familiar with that fighter. So got to get out of here, guys. Got to get it done. Uh, got some shopping I got to do too. So it's the CMB. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. And I'm out. Peace.